The Weeknd, whose real name is Abel Tesfe, just got a lot of heat and is getting exposed for his new TV show, The Idol. The whole commotion is that he's getting dragged for trying to exploit sensitive and dramatic events that happened between him and Selena Gomez while they were dating back in 2017. I feel like everyone should know that The Weeknd is exploiting Selena Gomez's real-life trauma for his new controversial HBO show. Is The Weeknd trying to profit off what should be private and personal? There's a lot to unpack here, so let's dive in and spill the tea to get you all caught up on the drama. Through sources, Selena Gomez is reportedly furious over The Weeknd's new show. Betrayal is just the tip of the iceberg, because she is feeling used and anxious that he would take something so personal to her and expose it to the world for his own benefit. There's been drama and controversy surrounding the show since the announcement with Lily Rose Depp playing the lead role Jocelyn. And get this, the staff of the show is exposing the ugliness, as the Rolling Stone wrote in an article comparing the show to torture porn. According to the extensive article, 13 of the staff were interviewed, and they even called it a toxic working environment. The Weeknd is starring in HBO's The Idol, along with Lily Rose Depp. But according to people who worked on the show, it has gone horribly off the rails. Rolling Stone dropped a bombshell piece about why the show is disastrous and The Weeknd really took it to heart. The article claims that the show, which is co-created by The Weeknd himself, is a gross fantasy of what love should be. And it gets worse. It's reported that The Weeknd got the original director, Amy Simons, fired, even though the show was already about 80% done. The reason why is even more shocking. Apparently, he felt it had too much of a female perspective. One crew member revealed in the interview that after scraping what Amy had done, The Weeknd completely turned the show into something completely disrespectful. New scripts reportedly contained disturbing sexual and physically violent scenes. Another crew member claimed that it was like any rape fantasy that any toxic man would have in the show. And then the woman comes back for more because it makes her music better. Now that's disturbing. As you would expect, after the article was released, people were appalled and disgusted. Even before the show aired, they started boycotting. The Weeknd didn't take this well and was angry, clapping back at Rolling Stone and calling them irrelevant as he tweeted, at Rolling Stone, did we upset you? So Rolling Stone came back to us about a cover and I think it's worth pursuing. Rolling Stone, are they a little irrelevant? It's a cover. It's a heritage brand. I think it's fail safe. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it might be kind of past its prime. You know what I mean? Yeah, nobody cares about Rolling Stone. Well, I know a few writers over there that I think would handle whatever we want to do with them in a really careful way, which I think is important at this point. Rolling Stone has six million followers on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Half of them probably bots. Well, I don't know about that. And Jocelyn has 78 million followers. <laughs> I am aware of her follower count. All real, yeah. I'd assume. Mm -hmm. So she does a photo shoot, she tags them, they get her followers, more money for Rolling Stone, uh -huh. nothing for Jocelyn. So there's a lot for Jocelyn. Not on Rolling Stone. Not sure what he was trying to achieve here, but not surprisingly, fans weren't going to stand for this and pushed back hard on social media. One fan wrote, I had no idea The Weeknd was this shockingly petty, ignorant, and arrogant. Are publicists no longer a thing? His show allegedly had all sorts of disturbing, misogynistic behavior happening both on and off screen. This is not the appropriate response to accusations like that. And here's the most disturbing part. It didn't take long for fans to catch on to the obvious resemblance between Lily's character Jocelyn and Selena Gomez. The Weeknd even admitted this during his press run for The Idol, that a lot of Jocelyn's character was inspired by some real life events from other artists. A lot of Jocelyn is, is definitely inspired by um, my experiences um, and experiences that, uh, of, of other artists um, that I've witnessed, male, female. The part that really got people mad was when he said he was speaking to piss people off and make them very upset, as he stated, and just you know creating something special, daring, exciting, fun, you know, make people laugh, piss some people off, you know, it's just... And just, you know, creating something special, daring, exciting, fun, you know, make people laugh, piss some people off, you know, it's just. <laughs> so it wasn't long before people connected the dots to see that he was really trying to piss off Selena by basing the character of Jocelyn on Selena's struggle with addiction and faith. 
Since they briefly dated, he would have some insight on what it takes to get Selena triggered to get a reaction out of her. All this came to a head after the first show aired. Fans jumped right out to accuse The Weeknd for exploiting Selena's personal struggles. They pointed to a few similarities between Selena and Jocelyn. First, Jocelyn was a pop star, but when her world tour got cancelled, she then later made her comeback with the help of a high profile relationship. Now, doesn't this seem eerily reminiscent when Selena also cancelled her revival world tour and then to make a comeback as The Weeknd's girlfriend? And there's more. In the show, the character Tedros helps Jocelyn to reach new heights in her music career by reinventing herself. This mirrors when Selena came back from her break with a more mature look and sound. But the similarities don't stop there as fans took notice of when Tedros convinces Jocelyn to wear more seductive clothes and show more skin to market her sex appeal, all to get more people to listen to her music. This played out in the opening scene, showcasing Jocelyn posing nude in a photoshoot for her album cover. And once again, this was a copy and paste of when Selena also posed nude for her revival album cover, when she started to release more mature sounding music like Fetish and Hands to Myself. Mind you, all these events coincided when Selena was still dating The Weeknd. This made people believe it was him that convinced Selena to be more provocative. Selena confirmed the rumor later when she admitted that it was not her idea and felt really ashamed after. During her 2020 interview for Allure magazine, when she hit on this again and said, I just did things that weren't really me. There was pressure to seem more adult on my album Revival. I felt the need to show skin. I really don't think I was that person. But get this, the worst part of all this that tipped the scale for fans is that The Weeknd seemingly fetishized and took a dig at Selena's decade-long struggles with mental health. In the show, Jocelyn was shown wearing a bracelet from her recent hospital visit for her mental health, but her team convinces her to keep it on as a selling point for her image, because they said people find mental struggles sexy and she would come off more sophisticated and sexy. How disturbing is that? I feel like everyone should know that The Weeknd is exploiting Selena Gomez's real-life trauma for his new controversial HBO show. All the more creepy is that it's pretty evident that he based a lot of the dialogue off of Selena Gomez's real life and exploited her. A lot of Jocelyn is, is definitely inspired by my experiences of other artists that I've witnessed. First, it's about a fictional pop star who is coming back to music and is heavily controlled by her team. Selena Gomez was in her documentary crying about how she's coming back to music and doesn't want to disappoint her team. Second is that Jocelyn, the fictional pop star in the show, was a child star who was watched on sitcoms growing up just like Selena was on Wizards of Waverly Place. Third is that right as this story was starting, Jocelyn canceled her world tour because of her mental health and going to rehab. And in Selena's real life, she canceled her revival tour in 2016 due to her mental health. Then guess who she started dating right after that? Someone who maybe could get a front row seat and take notes about everything going on in this pop idol's life. Fourth, and maybe the craziest is that while Jocelyn was shooting her album cover shoot, she had her mental hospital wristband still on, which they made comments about how mental health is sexy and old men who would never have a shot with her will love this because they'll think a mentally ill girl will get with them. <clears throat> They're so nasty in this show. But Selena Gomez in her Bad Liar cover photo shoot, she had her mental hospital wristband on still. Fifth in the show, Jocelyn is doing an album photo shoot while naked because she feels pressured. Selena Gomez had her gorgeous revival photo shoot nude, which I think she looks absolutely incredible in and should be proud of, but she recalls kind of regretting it because she felt pressured to show skin after being a Disney star. Seventh in the show, Jocelyn has a toxic relationship with her assistant, who's also her best friend, who's played by the iconic Rachel Sennett. She's the only redeemable quality of the show, but it's in reference to the iconic feud between Selena Gomez and her assistant best friend, Rachel. Right. So how does Selena feel about this and what is her reaction on the weekend? As you'd expect, sources close to Selena say she's heartbroken and feels betrayed about how someone could use something so personal and sensitive about her life to put it into a show, and on top of that to make a mockery of it as well. She doesn't want any part of it and just wishes for her privacy and for him to leave her alone. It seems like The Weeknd literally based the show off of what he saw front row while dating Selena. And there's reports that Selena is disgusted and does not want to watch this show. Throw out the whole show, cancel it. Well, Selena's fans are not having it and have shown their support with outrage, dragging The Weeknd. One angry fan wrote, I would never listen to his music again. And I hope anyone involved in this show goes down financially. And their character has been stained by this show. Another fan added, we can all admit that he is so much in love with her still. I think he loved her more than Bella. He's just so angry for her leaving him for Justin. 
I know if Selena comes and looks for the weekend and wants to be with him, he'll say yes in less than a heartbeat. But we all know she should never go back with him. Funny how Charlie Puth, Justin Bieber, and The Weeknd haven't gotten over her, and maybe they never will. Selena, you deserve a real man. But someone did defend The Weeknd and wrote, I love Selena, but she isn't the only young woman or man who's experienced being over-sexualized by Hollywood. I can get that The Weeknd may have taken inspiration from her, but her story is very much like a lot of people, so to claim he's exploiting her for his show seems like a reach to me. Selena is a fully grown adult. Stop always making her a victim because she has had struggles in her life. We have all struggled. When you constantly infantilize her, it gives her this leeway to just be a crappy person and never be held accountable for it. So far, The Weeknd hasn't shown that he cares what people are saying, but it looks like the show has taken a hit from all the backlash from fans. Along with many of the major publications calling out the show, ranging from sexiest, gratuitous, and achingly boring to sleazy and gross. What are your thoughts on The Weeknd, and do you think he has betrayed his relationship with Selena? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button to stay updated on the latest celebrity news. Have a great day, see you in the next video.